Hey guys, welcome to RPA feed and in today's video, we will be looking at Python script package in A360. Okay, so if you want to use Python, Python is well known scripting language for uh, automation, right? You can do a lot of stuff in automation using Python. So in A360, you can use Python. How to do that? I'll show you. So first of all, let's search for Python package, Python script package, and then you have these four actions, right? So open, first of all, we will use open script action. So in open action, you can specify the session. Let's keep it default. And then there are two options. One is import existing files. So, so if you have coded your uh, .py Python file, you can directly import it from here and execute it. And the second option is manual input. So you can write your script manually and then execute it. And you can set the Python runtime. So whatever Python version is installed on your system or on your runner machine, you can set the environment or uh, set the Python version. So currently we have installed Python 3. And let me tell you one thing, there are prerequisites to run this uh, Python package. You need to have Python installed on your machine, wherever you are going to run this bot. If you're trying it on your local system, you need to have Python installed and the environment path variable set to that uh, of your installed Python version. If you do not understand this, you can comment down. I'll make a separate video, how to set up Python to run Python script package. So let's enter the script here. Uh, def, I have created one function named greet and I'm just returning this text. Pretty simple. As always, like we keep things simple to learn the concepts. And then we can use, right now I have used function, right? So we can use execute function action. And what is the name of our function? Sorry, I just dragged execute script we will come to this also let's disable this for now so execute function and our function name was greet and there was no argument it was parameterless function so if your function was uh, expecting some parameters let's say a or b it was addition you can pass those parameters here right you can create variables and you can pass it but right now it's a simple parameterless function and the ex, uh, output I am expecting, the return value I am expecting in a prompt assignment. So this is how I have execute. Uh, I have written execute function. Then at last we will have close, and we are closing the session. Okay. Let me pull up a message box here. Message box will help us to get the desired output. So I'll just print prompt assignment. So I will just. I have just displayed prompt assignment. Let's run this. We are here. Hello, A360 from Python. We got this output, right? This is how you can execute your Python code inside A360 platform. Now, let me show you one more thing. Python, uh, we were about, uh, we have seen all the three actions but we haven't seen execute script action. So execute script action is, uh, you can use this action when in uh, when you're using import existing file, right? If you have a Python code available in a file and if you want to directly import that file instead of manual input. So at that time, you need, uh, you need not to use this execute function. You have to use execute script and whatever output you are expecting. If your file is, if your Python code is returning something, you can assign that output here. Um, and this will, this will not come into picture. From here, you can directly import the file from control room, either from your desktop file, or you can variableize that if it is coming from another task. So that's how you use these uh, four actions available in Python script package. So that's all guys for now. If you have any doubts or if you need further uh, uh, further videos related to Python, 
in automation a uh, anywhere a360 you can comment down below this video please feel free to like this video subscribe to our channel that's all for now thank you